What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Big B Production 100. I got a great video for you guys today. Today, in a short video, I'm about to show you some cool features that was hidden on your Mac, and you can access those hidden features with an application called Tinker Tool. The first feature I want to show you is, uh, I guess, your Finder. Now, normally when you're inside Finder, you can't quit Finder, but now you can have the option up here under Finder to quit. Now, you see your indication light that sits down below in your dock. It's gone. Now, next thing I want to go is iTunes. This is cool as well. We're going to allow. Now, when you play a song under iTunes, let's uh, select a song here. I guess we'll just select a, a random song. Let's see, uh, Anthony Hamilton. Okay. When you play a song, it gives you the iTunes icon on the left hand side, the name of the artist, and the name of the song. We're going to do that again because that was kind of quick. Adele, here we go. Okay. Adele, love song. So it gives you the icon, the artist, and the song that you're playing. She's a great artist as well. Okay, that is cool. And let me go over this application here. The name of this application is called Tinker Tool. Now, this application been out for quite some time, but maybe you haven't came across it yet. So now, here we go. Big B Productions 100 has bought it to you right on your Mac desktop screen. So uh, this is Tinker Tool, and you just basically select whatever you want and relaunch your finder or quit and log back in and that's it. Another cool feature I like as well that's hidden that you normally can't access on your Mac is within your web browser here. Let me show you. This is cool. So it's called the suck effect. When you minimize your window, we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to do it in slow motion. That is called the suck effect. And you can do that in slow motion to minimize it or maximize it, whatever you want to do. So that's cool. And let me show you another cool feature. Let's go back to Tinker Tool. I'm going to leave that open and we're going to go under, uh, which one was it? Safari. Uh, add text to icons in toolbar. Now we're going to just command Q for that. Now we're going to open that back up. And let me show you what that does. It gives you text under your icons up here in your, in your toolbar. So that's pretty cool. I guess if you want to, you know, use text as well as your icons, you can have that option. But I'm going to uncheck that for right now. And again, this is your man, Big B Production 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video, which I hope you did. Please give me a thumbs up. Holla at you.